Hey guys, welcome to the final lesson of the course. Now we have everything pretty cool on the animation and now what I want is to create the equalizer because the idea is that once you open the website, once you go into the website, you start listening to music immediately. You start listening to random music and it will show an equal equalizer for each artist and then you go and click next and listen to the other artists and so on. So the idea here is to create the equalizer. So I'm going to create a new document of course remember to save your file and I'm going to create a new project new composition and make it any size that you want and in here I want to create a new shape layer and I will, I will draw a rectangle just like this one just one rectangle is enough take it to this point and now you can change the fill let's change this to, to a black fill or maybe to a very dark gray like this cool and now here on the shape layer open up this shape layer and here click here and click on repeater and you will have a new part here a new section here called repeater one now open this repeater and let's create some copies let's create around 20 copies and click on the transform option for the repeater and now we can change the scale we can change the rotation we can change a lot of things but in this case we're only going to change the position this position right here make it as narrow as you want think over here is cool and maybe create some new copies like 27 copies alright and now once that you have this let's click here again and we will set it to wiggle transform now place this wiggle transform below everything and now open up the transform of the wiggle transform and adjust the position until you have something like this now if you hit play you can see that they start moving now it's time to change some things in here you can change, set this to here and change the scale you have this scale right here you can change this so again we can play around with the scale but I'm going to click here to so that they are not constrained and I can alter the position if I lower this scale I can lower this until they are all aligned at the bottom if you hit play you will see this and well the rest is we can add some more wiggles per second so that it goes faster probably too much you can set it to 4 and just like that we have a nice equalizer now let's save this as equalizer and let's open up again our previous file now I already imported my equalizer here so all I have to do is to upload the comp and change the size, the size a little bit
fact we can alter this like that and if we hit play you will see the equalizer getting animated now of course as well as with the other stuff here we have to change the opacity because the idea is that every artist has its own equalizer so this is just as easy as this just open one of these fuchsia layers you can copy this all these opacity keyframes and paste them here now we have this pretty simple in fact I want this to be smaller just a little equalizer here on the middle of everything so well that's it for this animation let's take a look at once again uh, about how it looks we have the first album second album third album we hit the artist profile and it takes us to the artist profile so pretty simple stuff as you can see the design is really simple as well as the animation but it's functional and it serves a purpose if you want to enter to to go to this website and listen to music that is the first thing that we, you are going to do and everything is here you have the buttons you have the name of the artist you, if you want to see the artist profile just click here and it takes you to this point where you see the artist profile so that's what I told you about on the first lesson about the user experience design and the user interface you can see that the the interface here everything is serving a purpose there's no unnecessary effects there's no there's no nothing that doesn't work for something and as well as the user experience you can see that it's actually a very cool experience because it takes you to where you want to go which is listening to music so that's it for this course i hope that you enjoy this course and please upload your own projects i want to see your own projects your own designs you don't have to use uh, despite that i'm uh, the fact on that i'm going to share with you the illustrator file you can use any images that you want any design that you want but i want to see this project and of course remember that you have the discussion board if you have any doubt please share this on the discussion board and i will help you thank you for joining me and see you on another course